Yo, what's going on guys? This is the fourth gen gamer here bringing you guys a video on what are the shiny odds in Pokemon Sword and Shield? What is the new method in this game that makes it uh, easier to hunt for shiny Pokemon? And oh my goodness, guys, we got official word from Pokemon. Official news from Pokemon Company International. That's crazy. Like on their website, they just released an article. I'm going to read it to you guys. It's crazy. We have the odds. And honestly, I'm so shocked. Pokemon actually acknowledged shiny Pokemon. That's incredible. If you guys want to watch this method in motion and actually testing it, follow my Twitch, guys. Twitch.tv slash the fourth gen game. We're going to be testing this method out. The link is down below. I have the shiny charm. We're going to see if we can get some shinies. But with that being said, let's take a look at this article. This is really cool. So let's go ahead and give this a quick read. Sometimes you may see a Pokemon that gives off a special aura. These wonderful Pokemon are known as brilliant Pokemon, and you'll find that they're typically higher level than the average Pokemon. These are, this is all about brilliant Pokemon, which is all good information. We can confirm that they have egg moves. They have two or three guaranteed IVs, and you'll earn some Watts. We know that kind of stuff. So now there's also information about shinies. You can quickly find some excellent Pokemon by encountering as many brilliant Pokemon as you can. As you catch or defeat more and more Pokemon of the same species, you'll gradually become more and more likely to find brilliant Pokemon and shiny Pokemon of that species in the future. You don't need to find these Pokemon consecutively, so you don't need to chain. And you can see how many times you've encountered a species by checking your Pokedex. So that's really good to know. So honestly, like if you're just going through your playthrough, just casually like kill a Pokemon, kill it again. Kill it again. Like, it's okay to just kill encounters because you're giving yourself higher shiny odds. Like, that's crazy. So, pretty much here's what we're looking at. After, you know, the odds for shinies are still the same, you know, up until 50. You just increase your odds of, you know, potentially seeing brilliant Pokemon. Now, once you encounter, or rather, once you, once you battle, that is catch or defeat. Catch or defeat. A Pokemon 50 times, your shiny odds go up double. Double. Once you kill 100, or capture, your odds go up to three times. You go up to 200, that's four times. 300, five times. 500, six times. That's crazy. That's crazy. Now, with that being said, the odds are still not amazing. They're not amazing, but they're pretty good, especially considering you just kill Pokemon like... It increases your odds for the entire playthrough. Like, think of it like that. Like, that's that's crazy. That's, like, super crazy. So, if you're already going to be grinding your team out, you want to just battle battle Pokemon that you want to shiny hunt for. Like, it's honestly a really cool method. This is the current chart from Cerebi.net. Of course, God love Joe Merrick. He does great work with Cerebi. And these are all of the current odds. So, you can see that the shiny charm makes this method just a lot better <laughs> so if you have the shiny charm your best odds are one in 512 that's kind of like those are friend safari odds i think that that's a pretty common number you've seen one in 512 quite a bit so without the shiny charm you're looking at one in 682 but here's something to keep in mind you need to have captured or rather battled that pokemon 500 times just to get to those odds now to be fair like even after 100 you're already at 1 and 8, 19, which is not too bad. That's not too bad at all. But the way that I see it, this is really cool because if you're already battling these Pokemon, even if you battle one at the beginning of the game and then at the end of the game and then you shiny hunt, like, you may already be on your hunt. Some Pokemon you may have already defeated 30 times for whatever reason. So now, as it says in the article, you can check how many times you've battled a Pokemon in your Pokedex. So it's very easy, actually. So if we go to our Pokedex here, let's see we have Yamper. I'm actually shiny hunting for Yamper on stream right now. We have battled this 96 times, so we're actually really, really close to getting uh, to getting this thing to the next set of odds. So as you can see, based off of this chart over here, right now we are at 1 in 1,024 odds because I have the shiny charm. But in just four encounters, our odds go up, way up to 1 in 819. And then your odds get a little better and a little better and a little better. So you don't even have to chain, which is really cool. I actually like that a lot. I think this is a cool method because it's uh, it allows you to just kind of go through your game and increase your odds as you go. And then you throw the shiny charm in and that's like not too bad. Even if you're just catching stuff for your Pokedex, like it's super helpful. So either way, the best way to really do this method, aside from just battling more Pokemon. I mean, look at all these crustals. I don't know how they all just spawned there, but they did. They're having a good time. They're loving life. They're enjoying everything. 
Your best method for this is to find a Pokemon that you know can do a lot of damage to these things, like one-shot them, you know? I mean, honestly, I wouldn't shiny up for Crustle because this is that, that would be a pain in the ass. But let's say you go to like Route 2, find a Rookie D, then kill it. And then if you run into a Wooloo, you can also kill that. If it doesn't really waste that much of your time. So here we have Crustle. I just, I, I happen to be here. We have Crustle here. It's probably going to be level 60 because I beat the game. Yeah, it's level 60. So this is probably, if you're going to want to hunt a level 60 Crustle, you're going to probably want like a level 70 Pokemon that you know can one-shot it. But a great example would probably be the beginning of the game. Yeah, see, like this hunt would be terrible. You have to kill these things really fast. So just a few quick tips for you guys. As I kill this thing, I'm going to show you guys a couple quick tips on how to make this really uh, the fastest hunt possible. Because that's what we want to do, right? We want to get these hunts down quickly. So first of all, this is actually a speedrunning technique, but I'm going to teach it to you guys. If you want to mash through text in this game, the fastest way to do that is to hold B, hold B and mash A. So you see here, we're going to mash through this and get through it really quickly. Now, there wasn't much dialogue there, so we don't see that much of a difference, but... Oh my god, why are there so many crustals? As you encounter Pokemon and as you use moves, you'll see that that actually will help a little bit. So let's find, uh... I don't know, what is this over here? I'm gonna hold B and mash A and get through this text pretty quickly. Especially for the text that isn't, like, static on the screen. You won't get as much of a benefit as you do with... So let's see. With, like, scrolling dialogue? But it will help. So here you go, look at that zooming through this text very fast now this is not favorable like i said my dreadnought is not a good level for this this is not you know i'm just in a random area a random spot in the wild area but that's the first thing now the next thing let me see if i can run because I, I, I don't i don't need to kill this thing there are a couple settings that you can do right now so first of all we're gonna go to our options and if you're not at fast text speed you need to do that Battle effects, turn them off. If you're battling a ton of Pokemon, get rid of those battle effects. Also, this is random, but if you have a Pokemon that uh, has, like, an ability like Intimidate, try not to use that. If it has an ability that, like, pops up on the screen, these things add up. These things add up. Um, and then the other thing, there's one other thing that I want to show you guys, is to pretty much find a move that has a ton of PP. I was using Sir Fetched, actually, for this. So say we have, like, Inteleon. You know, what we would want... Let me actually look through some of these Pokemon. Let's say we have a Pokemon like... I guess Inteleon is the best example we have on this team, at least. So we would want to probably use, like, Water Pulse. Like, let's say we're on Route 2. We would want to take Water Pulse, or even Water Gun, if we're going on Route 2. And you go to this move, these, like, moves. You take Water Gun, you press A, and you move it up. You move it up to the first slot because you're going to run into a Pokemon and all you're going to do is just mash A because it's the first slot. You save yourself the menuing time of going down. And I know it sounds, it sounds trivial. It's like, Josh, why don't I just go down one move? Because it's slower. Like, let's say it saves you two seconds. In the long run, if you do like 500 battles, that can save you a lot of time. That can save you a lot of time. So either way, hopefully that makes sense. I just happen to be in this random area of the wild area. That is not a good example, but... Like, try it out, like, level up your Pokemon, use those EXP candies if you're going to be hunting in the wild area. If not, go to Route 2 and battle the Pokemon that are here. You can get some really good stuff. I mean, Yamper's awesome. Toodle's awesome. There are a lot of great beginner hunts if you still haven't gotten to that point. So just run over here and just make it happen. It's like, you're, you're going to have a good time. And get that Shiny Charm. This Shiny Charm is going to help you a ton. So, either way, here we go. There's a rookie D. Look at that. We're mashing text. Water gun. Boom. Boom. Encounter done. Very quick. Very easy. It was nice having water gun at the top. It allows you to just hold B and mash A the entire battle if you're trying to get this done as fast as possible. And then the final piece of this method is after you battle 500 times, which, like I said, you could see in the Pokedex. We showed you guys that. You can just run away. So let's say I have 500 Rookie Ds. I can just run into a Rookie D and run away. That's all you have to do after 500, which is even quicker. So it makes the hunt by, go by a little bit quicker. Unfortunately, Rookie D has like that ability, which is uh, a little bit slow. But just like that, encounter is done. 
So after 500, it gets a lot quicker. Either way, hope this did help. If it did, hit the subscribe button. Follow me on Switch. We're going to be doing lots of shiny hunting. I have double hunts going on as well, where we do two switches at once. And it's pretty chaotic. But either way, guys, love your faces. We'll see you next time. Peace.